What's up, everybody? This is another episode of Better Than Static. Tonight, I have with me, um, I didn't really come up with an intro for him. I have one for the other guest, or co-host, whatever. I see how it is. I see how <laughs> okay, it I is. Okay, I got one, I got one, I got one, I got one. The only guy that could rival me in a movie collection, but has the most outrageous record collection I know, Lucas. Hey, hey. That was a bad intro on the spot, but I, but you know, whatever. It wasn't bad, or it was bad? It was bad. It wasn't great. All right, for Chris, or here we go. The number one navigator on any road trip, and I mean that seriously. He is the best navigator on any road trip you go on. We have Chris. That is true. And it's true. You're very good at uh at navigating, and I appreciate it. I can get you any podunk town you want to go to in Kentucky. That's exactly right. I, I'm sure you're pretty good at planning road trips too. I'm very good at planning you're road planning, trips. You're pretty good at planning stuff. Um, so tonight I have a couple topics. Um, which Chris brought a couple topic too. So. Um, you can go first. You want me to go first? Sure. All right. Um, let me get my topics list up. So, the first thing I have, and it's like a weekly update slash topic mix, though, is Chris got Fortnite, and I'm super pumped because Chris is really fun to play with. He actually played with me on the Monday night stream that is edited and is on YouTube, and I, I actually I'm, I like how I edited it pretty good. I'm getting better at doing the gameplay. It's not as long as my first two that I recorded, but I and I did a little bit more After Effects on it. And I liked it. I liked it a whole lot. Chris, you'll have to you'll have to check it out. I did. You did? What did you think of it? It was fine. I just made me mad at how I screwed up the end of the game again. You did screw it up. I did. I should have built. But anyways, super hyped to have Chris streaming with me. It was really fun to play with him because you have no idea how hard it is to talk for to yourself for like an hour and a half. Um, but you checked out the edit. You're upset that you messed up. Then and you didn't mess up the end because you actually the round that you that I died, you lasted longest I think when I went back and looked at all the footage, you got us the longest in a game to second place. Second place? Yeah, you got us to second place. Was, I was facing two people and I didn't have any build. I didn't build anything and I should have probably. So what you're saying? It was all Kirby's fault? No, because no. Chris could have picked me up. Chris had plenty of time to pick me up. I actually made that part of the edit. It was like very dramatic. Yeah, I probably could have picked him up. Yeah, yeah. You cut in a little Titanic. Never let go, Jack. Well, I would have if we wouldn't have got like I had to put it on YouTube, so I had to do like generic YouTube music I gotcha. in the Creator Studio. But I got as close as I could get to it. Um, but yeah, no, Chris was in a tight spot because he had like two full teams le- like that, were, and he was waiting for them to battle out, and then he killed two. On, on I one killed two team. of them. I think you actually killed three. You killed two, one full team, and then you killed one of the other guys on the other team, I think. So I think you killed three people. I killed those two. I killed two. I killed the two that came for the balloon, and then once they once the other team realized that they had died, they're like, oh, that guy's hiding behind that tree over there. Let's go get him. Yeah. But, you mean, you didn't do bad. That was like, which you've only had the game for a week, right? Tomorrow, a week tomorrow, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's not bad at all. Um, it was really fun. Uh which is a great game. I still love the game. You've not gotten to play a lot, but you've been playing your Switch, right? Yeah. Well, not a lot this week. Yeah. But, so, you, have you just been playing Mario or been playing Breath of the Wild or what? Mainly Mario, because where I haven't had a lot of time to play, it's very easy just to pick up and put 15, 20 minutes into, get a couple moons and be done with it. Yeah, I think that's got more aptitude to have, like, checkpoints so you can, like, say, all right, I'll get this check and I'll quit. Like Legend of the Zelda, where it's just an open world, yeah. it's hard to say, all right, I'm going to limit myself to five minutes. Right. I could literally, literally sit down and spend an entire day in that game. It's it's really, really good. That's awesome. Um, I think that's... I think Nintendo got the reaction they wanted with the Switch. Like, the Wii U and the Wii... Well, the Wii got a pretty good exper- like reaction when it first came out, but then it kind of went down, and this is like the reemergence, and it's like, it's really big. Resurgence. Resurgence. Yeah, what did I say? Reemergence? <laughs> no, you said reemergence. You didn't do reemergence. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, second, second little weekly update I had was we got T-shirts, um, which is, which is a big step for us. And the cool thing about it is you got T-shirts. I, well, mm, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't, but Custom Inc is really cool where I can do a fundraising option, and I don't have to put money forward. So if you want a T-shirt, um, I'll put the link in the description. 
but you have until March 26th to order a shirt and they'll ship all to me or you can ship it to yourself. So there's two options. You can, if you live in London or really close to London or Lexington, you can order the shirts and I'll get them for free shipping. I'll just give like your shirt to Lucas and he can meet you in Lexington. Or if you're in London, I can meet you and just give you your shirt. Or if you are not from Kentucky at all or from wherever our listeners are from, you can have it shipped personally to you for a little bit of extra. Um, they're really nice t-shirts. So they're about the only style t-shirt I wear, which is a comfort color. They're black and they have our, our neon blue logo. So definitely check that out. Ends March 26th and I'll get the shipment April 11th. So that gives you a time frame of, we didn't just take your money. <laughs> so, um, definitely go check that out. We would love to have your, if you want to give us money for, for nothing. Sure. That's fine too, though. Yeah. We'll, we'll take donations. I don't probably. need your handout. I'll Lucas, take handouts. We need their handouts. <laughs> I'll take handouts. <laughs> Handouts are good. Handouts are fine. I, I will take a handout. Just have um, to FDR. But the real, the big reason I did the shirts was last week, and we didn't even mention it last week. Last week was our one year anniversary of the podcast. We'd been doing it for a year, marking last week, which was really cool. I think like forty episode forty one was one year, and we completely <laughs> like. I think Chris might have texted me, "Hey, wasn't this one year? This episode? Maybe I did. Maybe I, I didn't. I don't did. remember. I said I think it was, and we just forgot. But it was. I confirmed. Can confirm. I didn't even think about have been doing it. Like in the year. back of my mind, I remember we started in February, but I didn't remember anything else. Yeah. Or of last year, not this I year. Want, okay, so I know that that wasn't the anniversary of our very first episode. Yeah, because that, that was has in never like, been shown. I don't think it exists anymore. No, because it was on your phone. It was on my old phone and it died. <laughs> Thank goodness. That <laughs> so is it's like, lost to the ages. Yeah. Nobody ever needs to see that ever. It was so bad. The second one was good. I had fun doing the second one, Dead Cows and Paul Newman, which I did a throwback once I realized that last episode of the year I did Dead Possums and Stevie Wonder, trying to keep the same the same title style. But yeah, one year. What have you, have you guys, I don't, this is going to be, I don't want this, to, have you guys enjoyed it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It depends on, it depends on how I feel. Yeah. However, I think you enjoy it like while we're recording, but like before, you're just like, no, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this so much, and then you're like, all right, this it wasn't bad. I don't like the other stuff. I like I'm fine doing this part, but everything else is not as fun. Yeah, set up yeah. and then like, which editing isn't awful now that we have this awesome mixer from Behringer. Um, shout out. Yeah. Shout is it out. supposed to be? Oh, also, Custom Ink and Behringer are no sponsors. These are non-sponsors. Of Hashtag not. no ad. But I think. It's crazy to see from a year how much our production quality has come up and like our media output has come up. Like we used to only do this once a month. Now we do it every week, um, which is crazy, but it's fun. Which in this next year, we have some big things coming up. We have some, some guests and we have some collaborations. You say year, but these are, these are close. These are like within the next month. Yeah. Well, mm, two months probably. Let's put a span of two months on it. Cause, um, so Jordan Allen has mentioned wanting to be on the podcast again, um, and I think that's going to be closer to April because that's when he's got a new, um, some new stuff coming out. And he would love to advertise, and, and we'd love to have him. He's he's awesome on the show. Um, we'd love to have him oh, again. Then we can do a summer crew special. We could, <laughs> he was wanting to do um, music through our like music that we listen to through high school and college and stuff to like kind of like the taste changes kind of yeah, yeah like how we change and which. Can lead through some of your summer crew era, Chris. Could. Yeah. So this is teasers. This is teasers for stuff to come. And other stuff is like we got um, Gaming and Chill want to do some collaboration stuff with us, which I've met with them before, and they're like, they're all on board. It's just scheduling. They have a crew of four. We have a crew of three. Scheduling seven people to get at one like to get together at one time is just really tough. And then we got an interview, a special interview coming. I, thought, I felt like waving to the camera. Don't worry about it. Oh, I thought you were waving at somebody at the door because I can't see the door of this room. Oh, you can't, can you? That's a good point. No, sorry. But um, so we got an interview coming. I'm I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna. This one's like a little, little secret. Secret. Because I I'm really actually really. Do I not know it? it? No, we no, know we it. told we talked about it on the we talked about it before we set up. Oh, okay. I thought it was like the interview that we talked about before we set up, Chris. I thought it was like that made me feel like it was somebody really famous or something. Not that one, but the other one. We were talking about one. I know. <laughs> that one, I mean, he's got a pretty good following. Does he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Check him the, out. Do online. they? Do they? Don't oh, it could be more. Yeah, yeah. Do they not? Does, does that person? Yeah. He or she? Or, or is it, it a person?
It could be an We're alien. We're interviewing a chimpanzee by the name of Monkey. <laughs> it wasn't very creative when we found him, but, you know, it's on his papers, so he's just Monkey. But he's developed the... He can he can sign, so it'll be solely video podcast. <laughs> Actually, I'm a, I'm his transcriber. You're his. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to transcribe his his sign language into paper, and I'll read it as I write it down, like the guys at the like the guys in the courtroom. Okay, okay. That way we'll have physical record and like uh, in case something happens. Yeah, yeah. In case he kills one of us. <laughs> That's true. Our blood will be on that paper. <laughs> oh gosh. We'll also be filming it, so. Well, he could destroy the camera. The 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 paper. Have you ever evidence. watched Planet of the Apes? They're they're smarter than we're giving credit for. Yeah, Lucas. That's I mean, true. That, but he won't think about the paper as crime scene evidence. So all our blood will but, be here. But see, here's the thing: this monkey's name is Monkey, not Caesar. Mm. But I mean, maybe it's just a maybe it's just a ploy. Maybe the monkey maybe it's has, Caesar it's in fake disguise. Papers. It's fake papers. Um, something also new that <laughs> I really enjoyed on. So Chris got is ordered new shoes, <laughs> and we were playing volleyball the other night with all of our young adult friends because we're so cool and stuff. And he was so pumped. We were on the volleyball court, and like we, he would, he'd like, all right, I'm gonna show you. And then we'd have to like switch spots because like in volleyball you rotate. And so like it took us like three rotations where he could show me on his phone the shoes he got. <laughs> Describe the shoes for him, Chris. Are you happy about them? Uh, I don't know. I haven't got them in the mail yet. You haven't got them in your. It's probably another two weeks because they're custom. Ooh. Ooh, Chris is getting fancy, fancy. Huh? but it's a good thing Chris is getting fancy. Chris is Chris is looking good. Chris is getting some looks from ladies. One lady, multiple ladies. One, the comic book store lady. One, that's one. They were the both of them were checking you out. Who's the other one? The Let tall me. one. There was there was one that came back to the table that we were chilling at, yeah. and then there was one on the counter, and they were both checking you out. No, well, the other one leaving. wasn't. No, when we're leaving, they were. No, the other one wasn't. And then I've been talking Chris up. I just, I, I think it's fun to be like Chris's wingman. But I think it's it. It, or I, let me, let me, let me um, interpret that, like translate that. I think it's fun to talk Chris up. I mean, I, I think it's fun to lie to girls about Chris. <laughs> is what that means. No, I what's your, what's your going? They don't call him Big Fist for nothing. Or no. <laughs> oh gosh, this is a family friendly podcast, Lucas. <laughs> It was only my nickname because it rhymed with it didn't rhyme, but it kind of rhymed. Funny thing is, Jordan Allen gave him that's that his nickname. nickname for Mine me. was Big Dirty Kirby. Um, Lucas, you didn't have one. I was Elwood. Elwood. That was from that was for from Jordan though. No, but he said no. That wasn't Jordan. He said no. No, I said it wasn't Jordan. Oh, I thought he said he did. No, no, no. Um, that was somebody else. I know who gave it to you, but I don't. I don't think they would want to be said on the podcast. Probably not. It was um, George W. Bush. Yeah, George, Lucas and George W. Bush are very tight. Yeah, me and Close W. Friends. go way back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nam. <laughs> yeah. Right before Lucas was conceived. Yeah. Why we were you roommates Why didn't you just said born? Why do you have to I say conceived, man? Yeah. Come on. I don't know. It's gross. It is. It's I mean, being born is a little bit more gross than the conception, I would imagine. Hmm. What is grosser the concept? Well, I'm not going down gonna, this. <laughs> I'm saying a birth is way more disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that one. You. I'm not gonna. If I ever have a kid, I ain't in there. I'll be there, like f- I'll be outside for moral support, cheering, but I am not going on. The Chris business. is like through the window. Yeah. I'm not gonna be on the business end of that. No, sir. <laughs> I saw a, a, sh- a talk show on YouTube called. It's called the Graham Norton Show. It's a real popular talk yeah. show. But he was talking about like to a to a guy, a celebrity. His name was Robbie Williams. He's a singer over there. Mm-hmm. And that name sounds familiar. Yeah. Sure. He's famous there. He's not famous here. Yeah. But he was talking about how he had just had a kid, and he he was like, somebody asked him if he was down on the business, and he said, yeah, it was like my favorite pub burning down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to explain it. I had a friend that was tricked into like being on the business. He was like, so Try, he was like he, I was tricked into having a child. <laughs> no, 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 no. He he wanted to have the child, but he was like, he was standing up like behind the curtain with his wife, like, you know, honey, you're doing great. Let's just practice on our breathing, like, or focus on the breathing and stuff. And the doctor's like, hey, I need your help. Come here. And like, just like, can I like, he like can I like his, actually uh, handicap myself? Like I'm sorry, my hand's broken. I don't um, get some like a medical tape and just wrap it around my wrist. Like I like I can't use my wrist when I'm there. Like sorry, I'm this is my good hand. I, I, my right hand's kind of worthless. I think the only way you could handicap yourself to like not see the birth at all is to get like blackout glasses. The um, doctors don't just start from the beginning with the doctor when you're first going in there for your ultrasounds. You're like, it's like I'm blind. 
<laughs> but no, that wouldn't work because if I'm blind, he doesn't he doesn't mind if I'm down there because yeah, I'm true, not going right? to. He's just going to have you anywhere. What you do is just say, "I'm not going to be a part of this." <laughs> I'm, a de- I'm a deadbeat father, but you're here with your. Yeah, we're ma- but you're married. Yeah, I know. Yeah, not for long though. It's cool. I mean, like <laughs> I'll be there for like its life, but I don't want to see. I, well, I mean, like I don't need to see it being born. Like I'm a deadbeat. It's guy. not like it's not like I need a sou- souvenir. The baby's the souvenir. I don't need that. Right. Like I'm gonna be there every day of school to drop that kid off. You know, I'm just. I don't need to be here on the like. Like just I, I'm here, I need but to be I don't on need the to good be end. there. Yeah, I need to be on the at the end. That's just. A woman gritting her teeth and yelling. She yells at me all the time. It's fine. <laughs> What's crazy is how we went from me talking Chris up and the conception of baby. This is why. This is why having a podcast. This is why we have a podcast because we get to talk about random stuff like this. Yeah, no, it's awesome. It's it's been a good year <laughs> for you. Yeah, for us. Maybe for our viewers, it hasn't been a good year. I'm talking about me. Oh, yeah, that's true. You've had a rough year. But anyways, back to me talking up Chris. I tell them all truthful things I mean, about Chris. But when I've asked him to what, when I've asked him what he's told people, he won't tell me what he said. I tell him that you're really funny. Wow, great! That's you a real, that'll a real man. Oh, you're he's super funny. nice. That means you're it, humble. You are humble. Well, self-deprecating humor is pretty much humble. Is it? I don't think so. That's humility. Is it? Yeah. I'm pretty humble. Sure. I must be pretty humble then because I every joke I make is at my own expense. I know. That's you're you're funny, humble, and nice. Humble and nice. That's it though. I mean, what would you I'm rather gentle. You're gentle. You you care. Uh, Just, I'm much. gentle. You're gentle. <laughs> he could never hurt you. I'm gentle. He could never hurt you. I'm a gentile. He's not strong enough. I am not strong enough. I'm really weak. <laughs> Like, but, I, had ahead, to, I had to get rid of, like, old brochures today at work. But, like, the path to the dumpster goes through, like, mud. So, like, I had to go to the end of the nice sidewalk. And I'm, like, having to decide how to just how to get the box from me to the dumpster without getting my feet in the mud. So, what I did, I opened up the box, take some of the brochures out, make sure they're real tight together. Throw them into the dumpster. <laughs> I do that until I can pick up the box, because the box is heavy. I can't yeah. make that. I can't throw a thirty-pound box fifteen feet. I'm trying to think if I could. I think maybe because it says because I know it says thirty pounds. But it says is it the, on box the box sealed? Is the box sealed? Well, no. I opened it up so I could take some of the brochures to out. begin with. Was it? It was. Oh, it was. It, it was, was closed to begin with. I think I would try to like swing it, like See, give it some well, momentum. Here's what I did. I took like half of the bo- half of the brochures out. So I cut my hand over one side, shot put it into the, or no, that's more of a discus. Yeah. I discus shot it in. This. Shot put's like a push. I disc it out, discus it out into the dumpster. And I did that for like 10 boxes. I'm glad. And here's the thing, Chris. I threw shot put and discus in high school. I'm really proud that you know the difference of the throws. Well, because a discus is more like, well, not a frisbee, but it's. but you. It's like your hips and your arm. It's like. It's so more, I mean, it's more like a frisbee than a shot put. Yeah. Because yeah. a shot put's always from the neck and then. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I feel like that's not very. I feel like that's yeah, common. I don't common feel like knowledge. you'd be surprised because I went back a year after, like I graduated, because mom, my mom didn't have her shot put throwing like stuff down because she was the head coach. So I went back because my mom, my mom was a track coach. If uh, spoiler, shocker, alert. yeah. Um, and she was like, "Can you teach kids how to throw shot put?" I was like, "Yeah." And they would immediately try to take the huge throw like a heavy weight and throw it like a base. I'm like, "You're gonna tear your how, shoulder." How, doesn't the thing like weigh twenty pounds? I think uh, 14 is... I'm going to throw this 14-pound baseball like a baseball pitcher. That'll work. That's a great way to break your... Or not break your arm, like throw it your, out. Your rotator cuff. Tear yeah. a lot of stuff. And, and I'm like... Stop, 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 please. And then they always, like, try to throw a discus like a Frisbee. And, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? Cup it. Like, like that. And you yeah, you, your palm goes in the center of the discus and your fingers barely curl I over. watched the Olympics, dude. Yeah, you're... I mean... You watched them all. Like you, every time you're. I home. watched. I watched the Olympics every night. It was on this year. That's pretty good. I cannot say I did the same. I didn't turn it on a single time. Dude. I never turned it on, but if it was on, I watched it a little. Bit. I watched. I, I watched the women's hockey final that came on like at two in the morning. I watched the whole thing. And I watched part of the curling final because it came on like at eight a.m. But I had to go to work that morning, so. 
men's curling first ever gold. First ever, that was their first ever gold medal match, and they won. They beat Canada in the semifinals, and they beat Sweden in the finals. I know when we recorded the the one where we where I tried to make the bit about Luge, uh, they had just made it to the semifinals, I think, right? And they beat. Had to beat no, that was like two weeks ago. So yeah. Uh, yeah, and Canada ended up not getting a curling medal at all. Oh, yeah, sorry. They ended up getting beat by Germany. I don't know. I think Germany. they play, they lost to. <laughs> sorry, then, we're. T- I, so I, I don't know if I discussed this on the podcast. This is how we start to take over Canada as a country. We beat them in we hockey. Beat them at, we beat them in hockey. We beat them in curling. What other sport did they invent? I don't know. That's like it. That's it. That's all I got. Ice so, hockey and curling. Like, what else do they know? What else are they famous for? Did they maple syrup or no? Sports. sports. Oh, okay. We have maple syrup to anyway, Vermont. But I, I don't know. Maple I syrup th- is like Vermont's famous for maple syrup. But Canada's flag has the maple leaf on it. So they just have a lot of the leaves up there. They didn't, Our, know, what they, they they didn't more know what to do with them until Vermont. Kentucky's them. flag has a has a as a Native American in a in a in a guy in a coonskin cap. You'll see guys in a coonskin caps walking around. No, but there used to be. There, so, so I mean, there used to maybe there used to be. I mean, I know there's maple trees in Canada now, but maybe there used to be. So, like, have you ever been to the Daniel Boone Festival? <laughs> okay, those guys are doing it. As a joke. On every hat day Ish. in elementary school, I wore a coonskin cap. What's wrong yeah, with you? You, just you wear were a the base? coolest kid yeah. in school. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie and a half. I, know. I was being as sarcastic as I possibly could. <laughs> I was not. I actually did wear that to a majority of hat days. Yeah. No, I remember. I thought For it was some, awesome. Yeah. I remember. I, I bought, I had a hat, we had a hat day in sixth grade. And I had this hat I got at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, Virginia, and it was a gigantic leprechaun Irish hat, and I wore it to school that day. That was a uh, how did I not get bullied? I thought you did. We you said on the podcast before you got bullied. Somebody tried to bully me. They asked for my lunch money like in fourth period after it was like. Did you just think it was a joke? Kind of. I would have. But I mean, like, I, like I just. Doing well, I went to my locker in class for something, and, like, I was at my locker, and somebody came around the corner that I'd never seen, and they asked for my lunch. Man, I'm like, I'm like it's one thirty, Lunch is over. I've already spent. I've already. I, I used my lunch money. I don't know what you want. Here's my. Like, I was I was very nerdy in high school. You're and still nerdy. Three, I'm still, yeah. But was I was. I was nerdy. large. <laughs> so, like, and I was on the football team, so nobody really bothered me, even though I was a nerd. Nobody bothered me anyway. It's because you hung out with me, Chris. I'd beat him up, beat him up for you. I was like your, your bodyguard. No, you weren't. I mean, I like to think I was. I wouldn't have needed a bodyguard. I just would have went away. I feel like fight or flight. I f- I will flight hard. <laughs> if I need to, I'm gone. He's like he's, you haven't seen me ran away from a wasp before, have you? No, I have. We went geocaching one time <laughs> in Lexington. And, like, you went to get it, and then wasps flew out, and you, like, oh, bolted. Yeah. I think I was with you all. You, we yeah. were. It was, it, it was me, you, and Luke. Luke it was, was in the Kroger us. parking lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was over. in the bushes. It was just in the bush. Oh, yeah. And I was like, no, nah, see ya. I ain't fooling with that. No, Chris, Chris is Are you allergic wasps. to wasps? I hate them. You just don't like them? I mean. Sometimes I ask God why he invented them. He hasn't <laughs> gotten back to me on that yet. <laughs> Still waiting on that answer. He's going to use them somehow. <laughs> the next topic I had, and this was actually not a weekly update. It was more of a topic. And I know Lucas hasn't watched Black Panther, but I also know Lucas, that's not on top of his priority list because he's not a big Marvel fan. We're not going to spoil anything. I almost broke out into song from Black Panther, but that would have looked really offensive if I did. <laughs> it was from like the like the cliffs when they were at yeah. the, first, the first fight. Almost broke out into that, and that would have been really offensive as a white dude to do that. <laughs> I know, Greg, uh, we were at the comic book store. It. That's copyright. I can't play that. It's yeah, you can't play that. That's probably copyrighted. <laughs> you can actually do 29 seconds of it, and then we won't. And like we the won't people get... were doing, doing that. On the, yeah. They were dancing. Yeah. Chris is doing the, the dance. The dude from Get Out's in it, and he's like, yo, he's doing this. Doing the shoulder bob. Doing the shoulder bob. But, like, I know Greg was wanting the Funko Pop of, like, the 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 fight at the at the river. And like he's like, I can't. That's I. I don't think I could pull off having that Funko I Pop on your desk. I think that's fine. I don't know. He was really worried about it. I wouldn't be. But I think that's fine. Well, who was your favorite character in Black Panther? Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> you just love my. You have like a bromance with Michael B. Jordan. Hey, he was Creed. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. I mean, yeah. You're and not every wrong. 
I mean, I've listened to a couple other podcasts. Not it's not black. It's there. not it's not Black Panther though. He's not my favorite character. Yeah, I mean, I like Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. He doesn't cool. even feel like the main character. Well, no, it's like it's an ensemble. There's so it's an many ensemble. people. It doesn't feel like it's a center. It, I mean, it's him, but like, it's not just him. It's not like other Marvel movies in the sense that it's like that the focus is on him. It's really not on him. It's on Wakanda. So let's see. If I had to choose my favorites. I don't have a I don't have like a favorite per se like Mbaku was okay. up there. Mbaku was good. Uh Claw was really good. I liked I didn't like Claw in the movie. But I, I liked do. how Andy Serkis played him. I, I, like, I really enjoy Andy Serkis. That means you liked him in the movie. I don't know. I just Right? Does that yeah. make sense? I yeah. like that Andy Serkis played him. Like I don't think if somebody else had played him, I he don't He was think a wacko I and him. I loved every second of oh, it. Oh no, he was awesome. Like I, nobody else could have pulled it off. It's like, like I guess what I'm trying to say. It was a villain that didn't take himself too seriously. You know, because you remember in Guardians of the Galaxy how that dude was like brooding. Which Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah. The first one, Ronan, oh, the blue yeah. guy that had like he was like too face. serious. Andy Circus just goes in there and like I'm just gonna have fun, and he has a lot of fun. Oh, dude, you. I, I thought he was. I don't. I don't want to say what I was about to say because it's gonna be spoilers, but. I, I wish you saw more of him. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I think that did better for the movie that you didn't see more of him. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. because the the main villain is still Killmonger. Oh yeah, Killmonger is main villain. God, the music in that movie is so good, dude. Um, I I listened to one podcast and they didn't really like Killmonger because like he he seems like a kid. No, he's that became no. a villain, and I'm like, well, I mean, even if that is your argument, I mean, he has he one of the best motivations a, in the entire Marvel universe. I mean, yeah, he's like I said this in the last episode, and I kind of like spoke my words on he had he was one of the best developed marvel villains i thought because he wasn't entirely wrong yeah yeah, no he wasn't um he actually had a really good cause of why but it was not not even close to the right way to do it (laughs) yeah yeah no no no. um but like the the podcast i listened to they were like you know he seemed like a kid in in an adult's position, I'm like, well, I mean, even if that is what you saw, he grew up without a dad because his dad was killed, and that's kind of part of the reason he hates Wakanda. And then like him growing up in Oakland was also like part of the reason he had like, and it was just like even even if you tear it down, like even the bad things still made him a good good villain. I thought. I mean, it was supposed to be direct parallel to Black Panther anyway. He was, I mean, obviously he's not like a kid, but he's still young. He's, well, yeah, he yeah. just become king. And I think another thing with that is, you know, Black Panther just lost his dad. Well, I think Killmonger still hadn't gotten over losing his dad. And that's why it, that's it drove him. So they were like, you said the parallelism is they're both still struggling with the loss of their their dads. I don't think parallelism is a word. <laughs> what is the I just would have used the parallels between them. Whatever. I think parallelism is a mm, Maybe not. Maybe you're right. But anyways, I'm going to make up words, okay? You've if, not, that hasn't stopped you before. I mean, I've made up facts before. <laughs> you weren't on that episode. Yeah, that was just me and you. <laughs> but the the two, I think it was a great r- reflect of, you know, how things could have... Reflection. reflection. Shut up, Chris. I need to be like the air. I'm gonna, I need a notebook with a, in a piece of paper. A notebook you can be the pencil. transcription like in the I monkey. I can be like an story. errors and write down grammatical mistakes and words that aren't words. And and then I'll go home and study it and then never actually look at it. We'll put but, it like, just put it in the episode notes. Yeah. <laughs> These are everything that Tyler screwed up. Corrections. <laughs> but the reflection of per, uh, Black Panther and Killmonger was great because they had so many similarities and then were really like different too did I don't you know notice that one he didn't know oh, i caught that one similarities i just heard that similarities is what you said Simula- what? similarities it's an i whatever i don't care chris i don't i don't think you understand that i really don't care <laughs> i care it's important it's not very professional to pr- mispronounce words i'm really pro- professional on the production value though so <laughs> but <laughs> quit making faces so chris do you have any other thoughts on on the movie? Like, are you excited to see Black Panther in, in Infinity War and see how Wakanda will change the Avengers? I mean, I'm more excited to see other people in Wakanda. So, like, actually see his sister in act, more know, action and no, stuff. See or? people that aren't in Wakanda be in Wakanda. Oh, okay. So, like, see Avengers interact yeah. with the Wakandans. Okay, that's. I'm ready to see how Wakanda affects like Iron Man, which I already kind of have a idea and then like 
I want to see how Cap's new well, stuff works. Well, why? Because if Iron Man got a hold of Vibranium? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to see all these developments because, like, in it's that that's a, there's a transition there because in one of the after credit scenes, it kind of it kind of shows that they're going to be more open with it, and that's a big spoiler. I mean, that guy was in the trailer. No, 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 that was in the it's in the trailer for Avengers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah it is in the trailer. So for you Avengers. know he's there. Yeah. So like how that's not really a shock. I guess not. I just th- that people wouldn't know that that's an after credit scene, but if they'd already seen it, then it wouldn't. Well, I mean, if you you pick you pick up on a, a scene where Shuri says another white boy, another broken another broken white boy for me to fix when they yeah yeah. So I mean, like I was already like who's the who's other, already there? Who's the other one, yeah. Which Cap and like his crew from Civil War are in a prison for of Shield prison. Cap's right? not there. Because if you remember at the end of Civil War, Cap was with oh, yeah, Cap got Black out. Panther in Wakanda. Yeah, yeah. Which makes me wonder, if he was in Wakanda at the end of Civil War, why the heck is he not in Wakanda in Black Panther? Black Panther literally takes place a week after T'Challa, Black Panther's dad gets blown up, which is in the middle of Civil War. So I don't understand. And also, they never showed the room that him and Cap were standing in. No, they didn't. So, like, where's Cap this whole friggin' time? Show, they didn't show that statue either. The big, or like the big uh, rock. The big rock that had the panther in it? Yeah, yeah. You mean the one that's on top of the mountain of vibranium in the movie? I thought that was a different one. It looks like a panther it looked to like me. A, but it looked like a different pose than the one that was in the end of Infinity. You might have changed it kind of thing. I don't know, but... I that, I feel like that actually bugs me. Like, he was there. Why not show it? I mean, well, he's, in, he's in Wakanda in the Avengers trailer, so like, what? Maybe well, he's the, sleeping. In the... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't? No. Never mind. In the Avengers trailer, though, it shows Cap coming out of a prison cell. It looks like he's just coming out of the shadows. I don't know. It just it, to me it looked like he was just behind it the shadow, like, and then he walked out in front of the shadow. It looked like T'Challa. T'Challa. T'Chaka is his dad. T'Challa was talking to a shield guard. Was like, get this man a shield, please. Oh no, that'll probably get flagged. But no, no. But like, it looks like he like Cap's in prison, and he comes out like because the door opens, and like he walks out. I don't know. I just. I'm still thinking of the teaser. I never watched the other one, so maybe I never watched the second trailer. I yeah, they, watch they the got teaser. a lot of, I think, <laughs> explaining to do. Got some explaining to do from from Avengers: Infinity War. Which all oh, did y'all even hear? It moved up two weeks. No, a week. A week. A, a week. week. A week. They moved up the date for the release from May fourth to April twenty seventh. Yes, like yesterday, I think. Yeah, it was before. yesterday. Um, but <laughs> like Robert Downey Jr. is like, I don't. I uh, you was, know that's a PR. It, okay. I mean, yeah. But I thought it was really clever. Like, hey, uh, Marvel, you care if like you mind my moving friends, this up a little bit? For me, my, my friends? friends, and they're like, yeah. How does April twenty seventh sound? He's like, uh, how many friends am I allowed to bring, or something like that? He's like, how many need? He's like, everybody. It was really, I, I really liked that PR. Concept. All the warriors. But I, I mean, it's a week early, and it I gives mean. them a week more for box office before Deadpool. And then, because this is all Disney, think about this. Yeah, yeah. Gives them an week, extra week between Deadpool and then Solo. It gives them more cushion for the Solo movie, too. Yeah, you got to... Disney is putting a lot of stuff out. Well, that's because they own everything. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, By I, default. I'm aware. I'm aware of this. I wonder if they thought of... I wonder when yes. they were going to buy yes. Fox and, like... The answer's yes. They thought about, hey, we should move up if anywhere if we get this, because Deadpool and... Then, I, I'm, I'm sure, yeah. The they mouse, got a big. The mouse knows all, Lucas. He probably is listening to this and and and, and tapping into all of our recording. I don't and care. He'll shut us down because we just figured out the Disney Illuminati. Okay, please be careful. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to anger the beast. In the words of Charlie Daniels, the Illuminati is not a frivolous subject. <laughs> Did you see that tweet he had? No, no, no I didn't see it that. It was when Taco Bell had those commercials about the dollar menu, their dollar menu Illuminati thing, and he tweeted Taco Bell. And then the next line, like it was like he, he formatted to where the next line was underneath Taco Bell, comma. Be careful, the Illuminati is not a frivolous subject. <laughs> Did you have y'all seen the talk the new Taco Bell fries commercial with Josh DeHamel? Yeah, do a meal. I think. I don't. I, I've correct, heard it. I'm just going to correct him. Everywhere. I've heard it multiple ways, but like I was in the theaters when that when I first saw that, and I'm like, is this a this is Josh DeHamel? Is this a movie uh, trailer? Or have it started the previews already? And then it gets like, and then it shows the like he's got this secret file on a flash drive, and it's like he puts it in, and it's the fries with the melted cheese and stuff. I'm like, dang it, Taco Bell, you got me. I had those fries yesterday. 
What'd you think of them? Pretty good. My friend Robbie had them today with lunch. I just had a crunch. Your friend Robbie, who has the flu, showed up to work. Uh, yes. Why did you? I wouldn't have showed up tonight if you did that, Tyler. I I'm fine. Now, you wake up tomorrow, you might not be. Chris, I would. I mean, I was in. I was in a van. He with sounded him. like he was dying last night on Xbox Live. I mean, Chris, I was in the van with him on Wednesday. Why was he at work? Or no, I was in the van with him on Tuesday. Why was he at work? He sounded horrible. He tested negative for flu That's bull crap. Tuesday. And then they called him afterwards like, hey, we ran him again. You are positive. Dude, don't go to work if you feel sick. It's not hard. Like, I don't understand the logic of people. If, you're, if you feel sick, don't show up. I hate it when people do that. I mean, I didn't get close to him or like... You were with him in a, in a closed van. You were close to him. I actually did sit beside him in the van. Chris is people like, are dying from the flu this year, dog. It's not. It's not. It's not like oh, I have the flu. This year is not a normal year for the flu where you get it and then you get over it in a couple of days. No, this year is like you get the flu, you might die. Well, Robbie's still walking. He's had it since Tuesday. I mean, that's not cool, man. I I would legit like I would have legit been pissed off at him. If I worked with him, like legit. If you're sick, I'm I don't show up. If I was a, if I was a boss, it's it, not just like for them. It's everybody else. You don't want to spread it. That's why, like schools, if you go to school whenever you're sick, don't it go just to school if you're sick. Spreads. Kind of. People in college do this. I'm like, just don't go. Just stay. Dude, they post everything on the blackboard. Don't worry about it. This class don't even matter. It's a history through film class. You, you, we're watching Mulan. Just stay, stay. I feel like you've been attacked before in your history of, like with Mulan. Dude, what a, a history? What do you or think? Whatever. What? Do you, what? Well, your history of film class with Mulan. I feel like you were you were assaulted by a sickness by someone that was sick. I'm just saying, like I wasn't like I didn't get sick. I'm just like people. If you're sick, do not go to class. This is not a hard. This is not some like. Don't look. The teacher understand. The teacher doesn't want to catch your sick. They'll be like, fine, yeah, get away. I don't want you. If I look, if I was a boss or a, a teacher, if a kid shows up to school sick, I'm sending them home. No, get out. And that's why Chris isn't a boss nor a teacher. That would be a good boss. If you show up sick, go home. I mean, go home. If I showed Rest. up with the flu, I would get sent home. But like, here's the thing he he didn't know he had the flu Tuesday. So like, like I feel like in my, even if I tested negative and I felt that bad, I still wouldn't show up to work because you're probably contagious with something. Well, I he, it sounded like he had an upper respiratory infection. Clearly he did. That's didn't. not contagious, but like it clearly still gives he you has similar the, symptoms. Clearly he has the flu. I mean, yes. Now that we know, Chris, that he now that we know he tested positive, we know this. But Tuesday when we did when he said he tested negative, we didn't know. And he came to work today. Yeah, but he didn't have he, he doesn't have he didn't have a fever, so like he wasn't. He's still contagious. contagious. No, no, you're still contagious. Once your, your fever, fever breaks, breaks for twenty four hours, you're still twenty four hours His after fever the fever broke yesterday, though. He was still contagious when he showed up to work. Then twenty four hours. If it if it broke if it yesterday broke morning. If it broke yesterday morning, he, uh, still not worth the risk. I think. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sick yet. I mean, yeah, obviously, yeah, I could go to, like, Walgreens after this and get somebody cough on me and I'd go get sick. We can't prove it was Robbie. No, I would bet it was, though. I mean. I'm not going to be surprised when uh, when you, you're you not at church Sunday because you came down with the flu. Well, Chris, pray for me if I'm not at church on Sunday. Let me know, though, if you got the flu because i got to stay home and not go near anybody because the flu is terrifying this year. The flu's awful. Like flu, I had my, I got my shot, but like even a shot isn't working that well this year. Man, I didn't, I, I didn't get a shot. I never get a shot. I just think here's like I know that when you get shot, you still, you still could get it, but it's like less, it's like less bad. I'm just like, if I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I don't really. If I'm gonna care. get it. I want to make sure it's not as bad as it could be, yeah. especially since it's free. I mean, it is free. It is free. You're not not for me. Oh, well, I, I got it for free. It's um, your insurance, probably. Well, no, yeah. they come to work and uh, give it. I had to go they come money. to work and give it to us, but we also it's covered by my insurance <laughs> if I if I didn't. Yeah, get it well, work. same. <laughs> Chris is still on the Black Panther stuff and doing the shoulder bob, but uh, so any anything else on uh, Black Panther? Best villain in a Marvel movie. You really think? I I mean I agree. 
I think so. I mean, that's, that's not a very hard outside list of to Loki, top. <laughs> he's like he's like really charismatic. He's entertaining. He's not. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he's serious, but he's like he doesn't take himself. Like he takes himself seriously, but he's not like brooding like a lot of the. He, he not, wants, he's not over dramatic. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way. And like, I mean, he acts like he like. It's almost like Michael B. Jordan's a villain. Like it, it's he's, he's acting. Good. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he's good. He's acting like he he would himself as kind of like Jordan Michael B. Jordan's not cocky, but like in the movie he's cocky because like he's a villain. I'm lost on he's this. He's charismatic <laughs> as his character. Is what mm. I think he's trying to say. He 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 portrays the motivations of the character well without. But it's not like it's Michael B. Because people will say, "Oh, it's just this person in a movie." That's not a good. That's not a compliment to the person in a movie. If you just see that person yeah. instead of their character, I mean, I like I have trouble with that because I just I see a person, even though I mean, but I but I can buy the character too. I can, yeah, I, like, I know it's them. I know that's not my. Like, I know that's Killmonger, and that's how Killmonger acts. But I, it was very good casting, is what I'm trying to say. That was a weird way to try to explain it. I don't know, but um, I think you're trying to get heady, and you're not. I don't I know. I think what you're heady trying means. to explain it higher than. I was trying to explain it in my own words, and it didn't work. I could have just said it. it was very good casting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, everything that I've seen says Killmonger was amazing. It was dope. Yeah. I liked um, I liked the tribes. I want to know more about the tribes of Wakanda. That's one thing that wasn't very exposed. Because me and, and Greg at work were like, well, what, what animal is this? What animal is this tribe? Um <laughs> And they're like, what does this tribe do? Like, they had eight masks. I mean, that was pretty clear for that one tribe. Well, was, no, no. I knew that, like, what was the main guy from the mountain people? M'Baku. M'Baku was really cool, and they were very upfront about their animal. And then the guy from Get Out, his was obviously Rhino. Yeah. But, like, you have... They were the farmers. Yeah, they were... Well, they were the border. They were the, but they, were, they had... They were They were farming. farm, yeah. Their their output was was farming. But then you had, like, the, the miners, and you didn't really figure out what theirs were. But I think it's a bat. I think it's a bat because it makes sense that it would be like from a cave. And, and then Batman the ga- crossover. <laughs> we can only hope. I be- no. better not. And then like their their warrior was kind of shrouded, kind of almost. It, um, oh, okay. At the actual thing, I don't. Yeah, remember. at the actual river. They had the thing. one that had the clay, like the clay in her hair that were. She had like the dreads, but they yeah. were like covered in like clay. Yeah. That was a different tribe. I don't know what they were. I think the, I think their animal was a crocodile. I think they were the river, the merchants. The merchants. Okay. I don't know. And then uh you had uh the love interests, the love interests uh tribe and Lupita I think Pita and Yango. Uh her name is Nakia. Nakia, yeah. Um and they were the river or no? Dude, I don't know her tribe cuz she was by herself. Tribe. She wasn't with her tribe. Well, no, she was cuz the dude in the green suit with the the lip with the lip thing. Yeah, the lip thing. That was that, the, okay. That, was cause that dude, who, it looks like the coolest customer ever. He like he his lounging pose was literally like him. He was just he was always sitting in the council room just like this. Yeah, with the leg look at the leg crossed, and uh, just kind of like laid back. Even when like crap hits the fan when he, he comes on still and shows like, up, he's, he, dude, he's a he was ball. still like he, composed. He's cool, but I, I want them because I want to because I know that Mbaku's people are in Infinity War because like in the in the teaser like where they're all running at whatever they're gonna fight of. Uh, Crap. Purple guy. I know Thanos. He, Thanos. Jesus, Almost a dark man. side. Come on. Whoa. That would have been a real uh They're the same character. Up. I mean, yeah, basically <laughs> they are. But like they're like Umbaku, um, Cap and like Falcon and like the some Wakandans are running at Thanos's minions or whatever his army. So I wonder if, if we'll figure out more of, of Wakanda because I was wanting more Wakanda stuff from this movie. I got it. I want I still want more. They had me wanting more, so it's cool. I want it. It's 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 really good. You can tell a movie is good if you if they leave you wanting more. I liked the style. It wasn't campy. Um, there wasn't a lot of like dumb, stupid one-liners or like or like people like where you feel like they're nudging at you. Hey, you should laugh at this point. Like it was, it was it was very good. It was, it was very well done. And I I know you're not a huge Marvel fan, Lucas, but I would go see it because this is probably the one you're gonna like the most of the Marvel movies. If I if I get a free day or something, I might go watch. They don't it. have. They don't all have specific a or specific animal uh, parallels. They just have. They just have like their there's yeah. their section of of Wakanda. Yeah. 
Well, in the story in the beginning, they it shows animals. I just I wish I could have stopped them and looked at each one. Hey, pause the movie, please. Yeah, stand up. Hey, hey, Hulk, go back. <laughs> I'm busy. I need I'm to tr- see what animals they represent. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the movie. Okay. Um. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of comic book movies and uh, comic book esque things, next weekend for us um, will be LexCon. I know Chris won't be able to go see us work, but me and Lucas will be there, and our buddy Greg. He is going to help us. He was us. on the podcast a couple weeks yeah, ago. He's on the podcast, uh, Relationships for Dummies. I think it's episode 40. Um, he'll this be going what episode us. is this? This will be 42. Yeah, then 40 sounds right. Yeah, yeah. 40 sounds right. Um, so, I mean, don't, like, I'm not saying, hey, come see us. I'm saying, hey, go to LexCon because it'll be cool. Like, Chuck Norris will be there. Uh, a bunch of Power Rangers are going to be there. Jason David Frank is one that I, like, that's a bigger name that will be there. And, there's going to be a lot of WWE people. Um, the voice of Vegeta is going to be there. The American voice of Vegeta, not um, from the Japanese versions of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, and a lot, like, there's just going to be a bunch of people. So go, and there's going to be great content creators because that's what we're going to be. We're going to be in Lucas. We've done this two other, no, yeah. Yes, this this will be our third. Louisville and Cincinnati. You did. Yeah, this will be our third one, and we're going to do interview some content creators, some artists, authors. It'll be real cool. I'm I'm excited because I think LexCon will be on the same level as Cincinnati. That would be awesome. I, I hope, I definitely hope it's bigger than Louisville's. Yeah, yeah. Because I was a little let down from that. One thing that uh, happened in Louisville I didn't realize that happened this weekend, so it's already passed if you're listening to this on Monday, um, was a Louisville Arcade Expo. And the gaming and chill guy said, hey, you coming to this? I'm like... When is that? And they're uh, this weekend. I'm like, nope, sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Or I mean, I didn't know. Um, but they're uh, LexCon announced they're gonna have like an arcade and like board gaming thing. So like, it's gonna be play to win some stuff. I don't know what they're gonna. So like, it's gonna be a lot of cool stuff if you're in the area, um, which is downtown Lexington. Well, I mean, if you're in just Lexington in general, go look at it or check it out. Um, but I'm excited. I I think we ha- are better equipped. Because we know what to ask. We know how to run our interviews. I think we know how we're going to do our footage this time. And I think we can implement Greg. I know we're using Greg just to use that other press pass. But also I think it would be good if me and you could both sit down with somebody. And that way they're not as... I don't know if that would be more stressful or less stressful. Hopefully it would be less stressful because it would be like a more of a conversation than interview. Potentially. Because, I mean, we're trying to go for smaller content creators because we are small content right. creators. And I don't want to, like, just put somebody on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you, are you still having Black Panther stuff? No, I went do 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 Oh, you got you because I made it on, I said on the spot. Um, The one they did, okay, so our Rooster Teeth did a lot of live stuff this week, which is, I, this is very far in the future, but I would love to do a live show, like... <laughs> What yeah. RTX like what yeah. Rooster Teeth did this this past week, yeah. or like what uh, uh, my brother, my brother, and me do? <clears throat> yeah, as I'm saying, this is far in the future, yeah. very far in the future. I'll be dead probably. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, like, it would be cool to, I don't know, try. I don't, like, I don't know the segments we would do if we just do like the podcast and record that and just let people be there, or if we try to do something a little extra or, or what. Well, I mean, it would be more like a panel. Yeah, it'd be like because a panel. Because if we, were, if we were live in front of people, we would interact with the people. But then again, I watched the, the Rooster Teeth podcast that are with people, and the questions those people bring are just the cringiest thing mm-hmm. ever. I yeah, usually skip those I, dude, I don't <laughs> skip it. I usually just end it when they stop doing their podcast. I'm like, okay, done. Yeah. I ain't listening yeah. to the rest of this. That's usually what I do. Well, I like the idea of, like, kind of funny, and they do kind of funny live, and, like, you know, I, I don't know what all they do. They make it like one big party, but like I know one of their guys did a stand up bit because he's into stand up. Because one we guy, could definitely do that. I mean, I, I'm not saying we could. And then like one guy like shredded on the guitar, so we could have like a musical <laughs> guest because we know musical people. We could make this, this big shindig and not just us. I think it'd be awesome to orchestrate that far, very far, far, far in the future. But okay. that's, a go- that's a goal. Okay. That's a good goal to have. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big goal. Yeah. yeah shoot, my shoot goal is stars. to my goal is to go get some food and go home and play Fortnite. So Dude, I Chris got Battle Pass too, and are you 
How do you feel about the weekly challenges on Fortnite? I feel like the challenge this week of getting seven chests in Wailing Woods is borderline impossible. Yeah, because there's only like two chests in Wailing Woods. I mean, the, the bright side is the weekly challenges don't end until the season ends. So I could just wait that one out a week, and then next week when there's new challenges, I could just go for those chests. Yeah. Then. I think the dancing and like no Easy. dance play, like that one's fun. We did I it think last that's, night. Yeah, I'm, I've, I got two last night because I only played like three we games. We won last night, by the way. Yeah, no, I saw. I got second last night. Um, I went a lot. And Chris never wins on his own. Chris wins. I contribute. Team. I got like when four you kills. Let the your game team win. die. We were, all four of us were alive at the end last night. I know, but like we might have could have won if you'd picked me up when. Uh, that was played. a mistake. I I admit that was a mistake. Okay, I just. I'm just saying. I like I I. Do. And here's the thing: I've won in duos with you. I've won with you before yeah. in duos. So it's not like I don't carry my weight. I'm just teasing, Chris. I was playing solos last night, and I got in a really tough I never position. Never playing solos, never. I love playing solos because it's it's where Too I go. Stressful. Well, I just go to tilted. T- I fly into tilted towers and like just try I to got, get kills. Here's the thing: like I got like I was playing a game the other night, and it was Jeff, Luke, and I don't remember who else. It might have, it might have been. I think it was Greg. And I got I got confused. We were going to Tilted Towers, but I got confused because I don't know the names of these buildings that they're talking about. They had named they they the rest of them named these yeah, buildings. Yeah, we have codes. We so have I codes don't know which buildings which. So like they say this building, I'm like uh, so I panicked and just went on the building by myself. Got four kills with a shotgun in that one building by myself. They all died, and I made it to the top ten without them. So. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing though when I play with Chris is like hey let's go push these guys no let's just stay back here and hide <laughs> no I'm always slamming it out dude I do not I am not an aggressive player if people are um, if people don't know I'm there I ain't shooting them until they see me I like to follow I mean if they're coming towards me and they get too close but they haven't seen me yet I'll start shooting right. but like if they're not facing my direction if they're out preoccupied with, with, with uh, destroying something or building something they ain't going to know I'm there. If they're destroying something, I'd definitely push because that's like at least five shots on them. That's fair, but like it depends on how close you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. But I was playing I was playing last night and got second, but I was at the gym. So, like, I got closed in a room by the storm, and I was, like, going to mine myself out, but I'm like, I don't want people to know I'm here because I'll be mining, and I won't have time to switch to a gun, and they'll be on the other side of the wall and just shoot me. So, like, I waited till there was a lot of action outside, and mine through the wall got through, hid behind the counter in the big gymnasium, Somebody came in and shot them. Somebody came and shot them. So it's me and one other guy. And I'm listening. I'm trying to figure out where this guy is. He's on the freaking roof above me. And I'm like, how am I going to get this guy? Because, I, I mean, I have mats, but, like, I, I got to break through the roof to get him. So I'm like, I'll shoot the floor out from him. So I'm shooting the floor, and it's working. Like, I, don't, I, exact, I know where this is going to end up already. And uh, he falls through, but he switches to a gun faster than I do and kills me. And I was just sad. And then he did the loser dance on my, on my body. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't have to break it. You're breaking it for him. Yeah, and like it would have been waiting it out, and I just so I, all he has to do is just sit there with a shotgun, and wait for you to break it, and then boom, you're dead. Yeah, and I was I was shooting the bottom with a scar, and I was gonna switch to my shotgun. So when he fall, I have a shotgun on him too. See, he didn't even have to switch. He probably already had it ready. Yeah, he probably had it ready. It was just I didn't want to just wait there because I didn't. I I would rather. Try to push somebody, then them push me, and me have to react. I, I do better know. with being pushed on. See, I, I <laughs> that sounded bad. Chris likes to be pushed on. I'll push back. But I would rather be like, I would rather be proactive because I, I just get really stressed out, and then I, I freak out when somebody pushes me. But yeah, um, any, hey, what was your what was your? It's not important. We've already been going for like an hour. No, no, we got we got a little bit longer. What was your what was your topic? What was your topic? It was just I saw this uh, the new show that came out on Netflix. What was the new show? Uh, well, I closed the I closed the article because I thought we weren't going to get to it. No, I, I made time for it. Okay, let me find it. It's, um, what's the new show called? That's what I'm trying. He's, he's trying to find what the new show called. called. Uh, it was it was um it was called the push. The push. The okay. push. So it's I, it's a it's a it's a reality special. On Netflix, okay. it's oh, not really wait, a show. It's, it's a reality TV special. So, what do you mean by special? Like, it's, it's, a, it's a one or, spot. It's okay. Um, so it's a psychological illusionist. Um, he's British. He's a British TV personality, and the premise of his show is to manipulate someone to commit murder. What? 
So he sits in the control room uh, with a headset that allows him to communicate with like the seventy actors on set. So the people on the actors on set are in on the they all know the premise, but there's a contestant who has no idea who's being played or filmed. He has no idea. Obviously, it's not real murder. But the person that is to be murdered sits on top of a rooftop, and then he's got his feet are dangling, but he's got bungee cords on his feet. But the person doesn't know that. So, it, so like, but he has circumstances that that are placed without the show. Like he 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 sets up details, events, dialogues with the actors. Just he plants seeds in the contestant's mind that would eventually, at the end of the road. He would, he would, he would, he would, he would, he would push that pushed person. Push he would push person. that person off the ledge. Well, that's a clever title. Um, and the show ends with the contestant, like next near the victim, deciding whether or not to push him off a roof. I would, if I'm the producer of this show, the emotions after the person pushes the the dude off the whatever, or not, or I mean, yeah, or not. I just feel like I couldn't do that to a person. Like I know I make fun of people. And like try to aggravate people, but you like know, people, it's got it's, it's polarizing to say the least. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no doubt. So, uh, the push is a real thing. I'm seriously considering canceling my membership. What a sickening and twisted idea you came up with in call it entertainment. Currently watching the push, it's giving me an anxiety rash. Is no, there I anything I can watch that's too. not stressing me out? Yeah. So this is this is the first reality show that Netflix has picked up. Picked right? up, they made it. This is an original. They, yeah, they. Were, this is a Netflix it, yeah. original. So they've made it. First reality show. And it's, you said it. I don't know if it's a first reality show. I'm just saying it is a reality I think it show. is their first. I don't really remember any other reality show that Netflix has created. And you said it's a one time thing or it's like this it's is a it's, one, it's a one. It's a TV special. I don't okay. know. I mean, if they. Oh, interesting. Well, the rapper Rick Ross is on life support. What? Just saw that on Twitter right then. <laughs> wow. wow. Um, well, that happened to. Shout out to all the pairs. Kevin Smith went on. He had a heart attack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hopefully. He's not on life support. He's, he, no, he's, he had a heart not attack. Not anymore, but like he had a heart. Like, yeah. So that's crazy. Like that's a week apart um, that that happened. People, people, famous people die. But yeah, like, other people die how old Rick Ross? I don't know, probably in his 40s or 50s. Kevin Smith was in his 40s-ish. 40s-ish. 47, I think, is how old Kevin Smith is. So like that's weird that like two people. Siri, how old is Rick Ross? Rick Ross is 42. So, I mean, that's weird. I wonder what, does it say what the circumstances were? Because that's just, that's a big coincidence for two. It's not a, oh my gosh, you think somebody killed them both on purpose, Tyler? Well, Kevin Smith's not dead, so they didn't kill him. I just like. It's, 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 it's unresponsive it's, and breathing heavily in his home. At this time, very few details have emerged on the circumstances of his condition. Huh, that's. like Possible Kevin's, pneumonia. Oh, well, I hope, well hopefully. In it'll Florida? Pull. You contract pneumonia in Florida. Well, pneumonia is just fluid in your lungs, so it's but so it, humid in Florida. But people usually contract in the winter. I mean, yeah, but like where it's so humid in Florida, they can contract it. All right, fair enough. All right. Um, but did you hear like the story behind Kevin Smith going was like he, he did a show and he's like he was I'm supposed to do two shows. He didn't feel good after the second show and then had a heart or after the first show and then had a heart attack. Like he went yeah. to the hospital and had a heart attack, and it was like the big one. It was like the widow maker that was. Is what that was the code name for? Because there's multiple types of heart attacks. His was the big one. It's like the biggest artery coming back, like a hundred percent blockage or something. Yeah, like yeah, that. which is crazy. Really glad he you know made it because Kev. I mean, Kevin Smith was no huge impact on my life, but like I I like the movies he's in, like Jay and Silent Bob, Mallrats. He's in Clerks too, um, and also he, Clerks One. Well, yeah. no, I, he directed I, Clerks. I, I'm so upset with you. I didn't mean there's a second. There is a second Clerks. But I've not seen the second Clerks. I've just seen the first Clerks. He directed them as a college project, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. He's, he's really he's cool. He's Silent dude. Bob. I know, yeah. I know. We're, we're aware. Um, he's a really cool, I think he's a cool director. He's a cool guy. Um, for Comic, I, big, comic book man's really good. I liked it. I, it's it's like my style of Pawn Star. But um, that's a good, those, the push sounds interesting. It sounds like a cool show. Um, does it does it have a day? It. I don't know. I haven't watched the trailer. I didn't. I just saw uh, it. When I, was I didn't it. mean cool. It sounds interesting. I mean, I just I didn't see, watch the trailer or anything. I just read an article online. About I wonder. It. Why, we'll we'll keep you updated on when it comes out. I'm not want to watch it. Um, I don't. I, I mean, I'll how probably, did they get that passed legally? I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel like that's. 
It's a it's a that's got to bend some laws somewhere. I'm sure it does. I don't know who they paid off to. Like, I'm gonna watch it and see. I'll never watch it because I'm gonna do some journalism. I try to do some journalism stuff because I enjoy that stuff. Okay, and then try to like figure out what how they got by with doing it. Quit burping in your mic. I'm trying to send you signals. I'm <laughs> trying to just give me a second. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. <laughs> I know Chris is ready to head out, but um, before you go, please check out all the other podcasts that are part of Crossplay Compatible. That is the podcast network we're a part of. After the outro music, there will be a promo for another podcast. So definitely wait and watch that. Guys, also, we'd love for you to buy our shirts. It's a rep. Our, our logo and 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 they're really good shirts like they're they're actually going to be good quality shirts so so uh looking to buy one ends march 26 so please buy them before march 26 check out lexicon that's where we're going next next weekend me and lucas are also be on the lookout for our um jordan allen being a guest doing some collaboration with gaming and chill possibly doing more collaboration with the podcast network and then also stay tuned for a special secret guest um and and catch you guys next week. Um, please review, like, subscribe, everything to to this. Quit popping your knuckles in the mic, or I will keep dragging this out. Um, guys, thank you so much. Check us out on all the social medias. Hopefully, this episode was better than the static. Catch you guys next time. Thank you. Hey, 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 it's Carrington from Real Dudes Podcast, and with me I have some fantastic co-hosts. Guys, why don't you introduce yourselves? This is Andrew, coming to you from Lynchburg, Ohio. This is Cody, coming from you also from Ohio. And this is Kyle, coming to you straight from the armpits of West Virginia. We are an indie gaming podcast. We all share a love for games, um, and you can check out our show on Podbean. Uh, just search for Real Dudes Podcast. You can also find us on iTunes, uh, Google Play, um, it, really any of the podcasting outlets that you like to use. Again, that is Real Dudes Podcast. Uh, be sure to check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, if you love video games, you will love our show.